Well, good morning to you folks. I'm Max Stevens with Sidekick Jesse Lee, and I buy old records. But we're going out today up to an area I hadn't been to in a pretty long while. I've maybe hit this area once since we've uh, been doing these videos. Just gonna answer a marketplace ad for some 78s. That gets me up in the area, so that opens up all that area for uh, my perusal and exploitation. Oh, by the by, I did that colonoscopy thing. That was a lot of fun. No, this time I conked right out with the, uh, the sedation. Yeah, it was, uh, but the one before I wouldn't sedate, so I was able to watch the procedure. But I, I don't remember much about this one. Anyway, all good. The set, I gotta be careful though. Uh, start doing this every three years now instead of five because we have a family history of such problems. So, go out and get your colonoscopy. Even if you don't want to, you should do it, all right? And if you want to, well, everybody win. So, there's your PSA for the day. Ha <laughs> ha! Okay, I have arrived to the first place. Leave Jesse out in the car so it doesn't frighten anybody. That's, there's a good old beetle sleeve. I know people that collect beetles. Oh cool, looks like it's mostly country. That's what I really like. Well, cool. I'm gonna lo start loading these up. Oh, I gotta put a guy Lombardo down on the bottom. I do that my old guy, but there you have it. Okay. So I've got a whole lot of 78s here, and I need to make some room for them. I saw two or three really good labels, so I figured why not? Let's see, put Frank Sinatra on the bottom. Folks, always put your least desired records at the bottom of the stack. And you won't spend half your time going, no! When you see that they're broken, you'll be like, eh, at least it was Frank Sinatra. Unless you like Sinatra. I'm sure somebody out there will complain how I'm stacking these, but I do know what I'm doing. I already saw one broken record in the batch, but fortunately, it was not a good one. So the story on these is that they came from California and they had inherited it, the whole load of records from a relative who had a record store. I looked through 45s, there was nothing there though of interest. And they weren't for sale anyway, but I always look. So let's go to more places and have a good time. Okay, so we have achieved the first big antique place of the day. That's kind of a neat picture. Ah, there's the old Coca-Cola bottling works, Wichita Falls. Used to collect Coke bottles when I was a kid. Let's see. I'm gonna buy it, I think, for that box too. Let's see what's inside. Okay, these seem to be all 50s. Okay, definitely going to buy it for this. Well, this place has records upstairs. So to go upstairs, we must first go downstairs. There's an old uh, bluegrass gospel thing with hot guitar on the Vaden label. If you want to go up, you got to go down. Brother and pray. I had to add that last part so it didn't sound nasty. Anyway, let's go upstairs. Okay records just records records Jesse feel free to look at records if you like maybe you'll find something all this stuff seems to be a little new yeah there's old Linda Fitzner don't you know who she is right old man Fitzner's daughter Fitzner 
I just ruined my own joke. Really ocean. Take my time to read some of these labels, right? Okay, read a pavoon. Missed one there. Oh, okay, that's a Deca. I, mean, I thought it was one of those odd G and G things from Alabama or California. A lot of companies would move state to state. Very early Johnny and the Hurricanes. Old style label. Still looking for that one Dean Martin record for one of our viewers. I ain't found him yet. I think it's Volari, if I remember right. Maybe I should just call him up and sing it instead and say, this is what you're getting. Jukebox Jamboree. Oh, that's cool. Bunch of 45s over there. Yay. Lime Moss. Ooh, lots and lots of 45s. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, this is cool. That's a Tennessee uh, gospel record. Some of these Friedels actually have hot rock and piano. I don't know that one. Country. Sometimes country is good. Check that one there. This looks like a lot better group. I'd have to check that. I think that's country though. It was El Claude, yeah. A lot of what? Oh, that could be a rocker. Who the hell is Sandia? David Beatty, and it's broken. Dang it. Because that's the same group as on Friedel that we just now saw a minute ago. Maybe they'll have the Orbits doing Rosalie on Friedel. That was pure rockabilly. I kind of doubt it. Not compatible music with the Baptist gospel folks. Next huge stack, and I've almost used all my battery. Pat Boone. A lot of fifties records. Klondike there. I'll take a look at that one. It's old Dave Dudley. I see him everywhere. Phillips. No. Well, I thought I just recorded a long segment then, and I did not. Yeah. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Pretty good actually. Banff Records. I might get that. That's just one really cool looking record, but it's not in good shape. Oh well. Anyway, when I thought I was recording a few minutes ago, hey, look at look, 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 look. One of them Canadian Johnny Cash sounds likes. Oh man. I like that. So obviously we had some new fee. Some Newfoundlander who is somehow his records ended up here because that was a big deal. Newfies that would record Johnny Cash sound alikes. Yeah, I don't know either why, but they did. Well, they like good music, didn't they? Self answering question. 
What is that path day? It's the path day. Nope, not for me. Oh my, there's more 45s. I'm gonna be all day at this one spot. Now I gotta look at LPs. Scooby-Doo, home Zephyr, Jerry Lieber. Hmm. Make sure Eddie Cochran's not on there, but that thing is in shot shape. Do it this way, maybe go a little faster. Not so rough on my tender fingers. Can't believe I'm having to do this. Look at LPs. I feel I feel bad about that, but okay, I'll suffer through. I feel diminished, that's the word. Diminished. Although I did live, grow up hearing that album almost every day. Some of the best straight country music I've ever heard. Okay. Wow. Lots of, uh, well, we'll save my battery. I had lots of 78s. Man. If you have any records you're really looking for, get in touch. Maybe I can put the grab on them for you. And after we negotiate, you'll have a record you really like. Keep in mind, region means a lot. So if you've got a record from Manitoba that you're looking for, it's doubt it's gonna turn up here. But if it's Newfoundland, apparently, they'll turn up. Newfies are cool people, ain't they? I'm sure these have been gone through a lot. They've been used and abused a lot. Farley Holden put some meat on them bones, you know? I'll get that. Find a suitable sleeve. I'll just get Mr. Ooh, yeah, I don't think they'll mind if I just switch sleeves on that one. That one's broken. Big time. Ooh. Hey Jesse. Hey Jesse, could you set that on top of the pile? Sonny James. I always liked him. One of the few Memphis acts that Sam Phillips did not corner and put a microphone in front. Hey, Jesse, you, keep, you guard my pile of records over there? Yeah, right there. Right there, yeah, yeah. Keep them safe from, from the influx of the Karens. They might claim the record, and then it'll be a showdown. And I don't know if I can take on Boss Karen today. Well, there's old Bean Crosby, my nemesis. I see his stuff everywhere I go. He was maybe one of the greatest pop singers there was. And if you didn't agree, he'd beat you with a sack of sweet Valencia oranges. Tasty, nutritional, and doesn't leave a bruise. Well, I found this one on the floor. And if you thump them and you don't hear this odd, awful sound, then it's not broken. It's not. It's, I'm a honky-tonk daddy. It's a good record. You know, it's not a big dollar record, but it's a good one. So I'll pick that up. I was laying there on the floor by itself. Somebody dropped it in Philistines. Swap a sleeve for that one. I still don't see any cracks in it. Features a great label from down in South Louisiana. Okay, I found a few neat looking labels there. They were broken and not in a good way. Nadsco, no, not for me. Named the label after his Nads. Isn't that neat? Mm, Riley Puckett. Okay, I'm not gonna play that side. 1966. Hmm. Oh, it's a pop vocal, okay. That's yeah, not for me. You might be screaming, buy it, buy it, buy it. If that's the case, write to me and maybe I'll go back and someday and buy it. Okay, I found it. The mother load. Square Dance 78s. Uh, 
I swear I used to never see them. Now that's a big part of what I see now. Only in the last two few months. So we at I Buy Old Records Industries here think there's some plan or plot. Huh. El Torme. Slim Willet from Abilene. We've talked about him. Frank Wallace. Kind of missionary position country from the 20s. No eye contact either. You could play it and say, okay, I did my country music for today. Now go away. Dang, these things are falling apart in my hand. Okay. Huh. Big old 12 inch things are full of tins. So let's make this difficult and tedious. And how many red label Columbia's must I see in a day? Lord above knows. There's an absolutely destroyed late art castle. I'll have to look that one up just to make sure. They're not going to be played anyway. They're, they're just bought for the picture. And well, however a person wants to buy it, whatever reasons, that's fine. This looks like more of the same that I just came out of. Okay, ended up doing all right. Here's what I've got thus far. Put some meat on them bones by Farley Holden. Honky Tonk Daddy, I gotta clean that up. Hopefully it will. I got the two Canuck records. Isn't that nice? And they, there are really some good things on there, I believe. I'm glad I looked this one up. Old Man River, Bill Mur uh, Murphy, not Bill Murray. Uh, that is a really good soul record. Seems to sell decently. Much as a hundred bucks or so. Probably not now. I don't know. Anytime I buy a soul record, it seems like the market has fallen. But if I get more than the dollar I paid, I'm a happy, happy cat. So, um, then... I didn't look at the records, but just for a few minutes, get my lovely associate, Jesse, hand that to me. You can go ahead and jump in if you like. Good, good. And it's full of 50s records. Lots of uh, dollar records. But the main thing is, for the price, is this lovely double carrying case. Hard to find them in good shape like this. So, yeah, that's a good thing. Johnny Smith, etc., etc. Yeah, these are mostly hit records from the 50s. And if you see any of these hit records you need, give me a holler. I'll fill you up a box. Very cheap. Send a media rate out to you. You're happy. I'm happy. Buy my sister that electrolysis. Get rid of those sideburns she's grown. So that ain't bad at all. And good sleeves like that. That's also a big attraction. I might pull the sleeve off Brenda Lee and stick that on a Gene Vincent record or a Char Charlie Bop trio. You know. Dress them up just a little. Not bad. Okay. Let's see if we can keep the magic flowing. Oh, I like these old movie stills. Marathon Man, when the doctor kept asking Dustin Hoffman, is this safe yet? He couldn't give the right answer to that one, could he? The doctor kept just drilling and drilling. Well, that's movie talk. Oh, man. <laughs> they took his feet they put dust in his mouth and poked out an eye Charlie McCarthy has seen better days the album is down below I'll have to check that not forget not that I'm going to look through the albums very hard but sometimes they work in tandem
Oh, this is a nice place. This is neat. I'd forgotten it was right next door to the place I just came from. Spent an hour of my life in and did well. Ooh, 78s. Spade Cooley. You want a good story? Look up Spade Cooley. Uh, he was a Western Swing big band type band leader in the 40s. To me, his music was tedious and too much big band and pop. He sure could dress nice anyway. He didn't like that his wife, as he suspected or thought anyway, was having carnal relations with Roy Rogers among others. And they had a daughter. So one day, Spade has enough and then he beats his wife to death. It's a hell of a story. Tells his daughter to sit there because you're going to watch me kill her. And he did. So he went to prison. That man had just left. Or, well, if he had just left instead of killing her, he'd have probably not gone to prison. But some people I think are going to end up there no matter what. Well, go to sleep now. Story time's over. Huh? Oh no, these will be square dances. No. And I have to look though in case they threw some hillbilly in for good measure. No. Oh my. All right, we have gotten to the next place. Don't know the name of it. I just like to put into uh, Google where I want to go and it tells me where to go and then I get there. <laughs> Ain't that the something or other? Put my mask on and then we'll see what around. Oh, 78's over there. Johnny Cash Sun album here. First pressing, micro groove. I've got several copies. It's one of the first Sun records I ever saw in my life as a child. My mom owned it. Wish they would have the uh, uh, Perkins record. That'd be kind of neat. Now this is neat. Uh, Loyal Records gospel label. But it's more of the dreary stuff. They put out a few good gospel boppers out of Alabama. Ooh, ooh, that could be good. But I don't know how much they are. Let's see. Well, that's a wire basket for sale. Badly warped. May have to pass on that. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Jesse Lee be pointing stuff out for me. Thanks, man. Recording blanks. They're unused, but they've been exposed to heat. Got some bad dimples on them. Which makes them not suitable for my use. They make a real bad squeal. Not like Ned Beatty during that tender love scene in Deliverance. That's how those records sound when you try to cut on them. Wilcox Gay Recorder. And it is, but... I doubt that would work. It's a good price though. I've got a lot of stuff like this in storage. Okay, no luck. Man, my neck, my uh, neck, my leg is just kicking up right now. My knee. I'm not gonna let that stop me. It'll slow me down. But what doesn't kill me makes me old and bitter. <laughs> so let's go look some more. Maybe we'll grab a bite to eat. Jacket on or jacket off? Hmm. Not a jacket on. I don't feel like jacket off yet. Okay, that's pure rile. I'm sorry. Let's go into the next place.
Yeah, I am. I bounced near that top of that coffee pot. That woke me up. Ooh, 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 ooh. No, it's a square dance. Lester way tech. Lester recorded good things, and then he recorded square dance. I'm looking for his good things. Hank Williams. Uh, ooh, ten dollars? I don't think so. Clayton with string, no, string band, but it's polka. Okay, this is the, probably the last of the antique malls here. We've been in town about two hours or so. Thank you, Jess. Good today. And I remember seeing lots of records here in the past. Man, for a minute there, I got really excited. I just saw the two fisted tails. Oh, I did buy a big stack of two fisted tails and frontline combats from the EC for $10 each, about 33 of them. And I'll tell you what, I've still got them. I'm not selling them yet. Some things you just don't sell. What is this? A little storage case. I think it's too small for no, it's too small for records. Children's records, always look. No. Mm, that was almost a great find there, wasn't it? Just like that, my knee quit hurting. Taking some experimental injection in my knee for fun and profit. Jesse Lee found where the records are. Oh yeah. I appreciate that. Whoa. Maybe. No, I don't think it is. No, it's a... Yeah, we were close on that one. It's a great label. That does have hillbilly, but that's not a hillbilly. You know, I think I looked at these about two years ago. But... Doesn't hurt to look again. Actually, it hurts a lot. Pain. Eddie Arnold. About as exciting as a mackerel defrosting out on the cabinet. Frosted Shake 5, Shake It, by Borden's. You know, the milk ice cream company. I'm going to look that up. That might be worthwhile. All right, let's go over here and hit this place that says Antiques. Yeah. One of these sound alike records. Having fallen head long down a flight of stairs once, I try to be careful. Yeah, I remember about, oh, 12 years ago, coming through here and finding a lot of good rockabilly 45s. Maybe there's more, ooh, they got a lot of records. Okay. Good looking label. Unfortunately, it's straight white gospel piano quartet stuff. Hmm. 
No. Good looking label though. Top tail piano music, I think. I don't think we want to find anything here. Some of this rings a bell. I mean, a couple of years ago, I was probably here anyway. I was hoping I was going to say Johnny Horton. Another one of those good looking gospel records that comes to nothing. I could see them getting to heaven and saying, we recorded gospel records. And then they're told, why did you do it so dull and boring? You know I'm right. Yeah, this is not anything new. The one little bit in the middle seemed to be a different batch, but... Yeah, seems to be the exact same stuff I saw before. Well, nothing yet. I need to look up 178, but I've got no internet here. Turns out the 78s are just a dollar a piece. I'm gonna grab a couple, gamble on them. You know me, I'm a rambling, gambling kind of dude. This one looks weird. Curly Hicks and his taproom boys, Tango Foxtrot. I don't know. And this one is Hank Smith and the Nashville Playboys doing an Elvis song, Heartbreak Hotel, but it's actually a very drunken George Jones. Well, all right, all right, all right. We've uh, gone about five miles or less up the road up into Oklahoma across that kind of a red river it's more of a creek over this way and uh, then I'm just going to drive some old highways through some of my dad's old stomping grounds here in southern Oklahoma dad's 85 now so that's probably a lot of his ex-classmates out there no I know that's bad taste but anyway uh, coming up on a little town up here uh, Warica there was one great rockabilly called Oklahoma Baby by Don, oh, what's his name? I'll have to think of his last name. But it was a great mid-60s rockabilly thing. Had a good slap bass to it and just irrepressible fun. So that's where we're going. We had a Whataburger and it was grand and glorious. I'll have to walk a lot to get rid of that. Anyhow. All right, I have donned my mask because I know I'm getting out here. It's his antique heaven. I, I like me some antique heaven. Might be better than junk store hell, that's for sure. Oh, look at here, 45s. Oh, yeah. well, I don't know about that one. We'll check it. What that is. Ooh, there's Hay May, Rusty and Doug. Great rocker. Look at here. There, Bill Justice. Common though, but it was recorded at Sun. Oh man, I thought that was something for a minute. Alcala. Good looking label. Salminio. I know my mom really liked him. Well, I am more, more, more than pleased. I found uh, Hey May 
Rusky and Doug in gorgeous shape. And it is a great rockabilly record. Some hot guitar. And uh, the other one, Jimmy McGriff, I think it's just an R&B, maybe a soul thing. Not bad. A couple of bucks each. If I don't buy anything, I don't have nothing to show for it, so I better buy stuff. Coolness, found another place. I'm gonna leave the window down. Maybe nobody will kidnap my baby boy, Jesse. Ugh. I'm gonna hobble in here myself. But I am emboldened and encouraged by finding the Rusty and Doug record. I found some nice things today. Another one of those Abbott records. by this. The Oral Roberts. Nope. I like the old Well, it looks like I was struck out. Nope, 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 nothing for me. Almost, not quite. All right, we've just crossed back into Texas, so I'm fixing to turn up here and take a lesser traveled highway, and maybe that will make all the difference. So let's go, I think Doreen Gold next. There it is, welcoming me back right here, yeah. Welcome to Texas. Drive friendly. Okay, now we're in Germantown here. Munster. My great, 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 great grandfather, something like that, owned a county or two of land here in this part. Owned all of this area. Then he died in the 1857 in an accident while he was drunk. And then his kids managed to piss all of the inheritance away, depriving me of a chance to be rich, if not just good looking, you know what I mean? I'm sure you do. Well, nothing yet. Doesn't mean there's not anything here. Just means I haven't found my way over to it. Ooh, more in the back room. A lot of times records get relegated to the back room. Well, the books were. Oh, and my knee is flared up again. Isn't that great? There's records right over there. All right. Well, Ablins. Here's the 45s. Yeah. Even at a dollar a piece, I ain't find nothing yet. What is that? Ithaca College. Ithaca. I don't know, might be a fine institution. Hopefully I'll never find out. Oh, more 45s, look at there. Good. Afraid I wouldn't want to sink enough time into this place. Come on, give me one. I'll even take another copy of Hey May. Nope. I don't think that's probably going to be it for me. Well, no luck, but I did get to look at some records. And that pleases me. Take this off for a second. So right now we're going to run over to Gainesville, which is close. I've got about 45 minutes of actual looking left. Well, I said let's get out of town. Nope, we've got another antique mall I forgot all about. Hmm. 
That's a bad heat crash to that. I'm getting that, I don't know it. Place and they've moved things around and renovated. That's that's really good. All right, yes, more records. Right. Corla Pandit. Wish I was in better shape. I'm a big fan of Corla. A lot of dance studio records. Kind of gonna fall in the same category as the ever present square dance records, just for dancing and studio work. These are more instructional things. Oh my. We got 78s. Here's some 45s now. Inches stuck in a 12. Search your own puerile joke there. Okay, ended up with uh, three records there that I found as soon as I walked in. I'm going to take this jacket off. Jacket on, no jacket off. Okay, I said it. Well, hell, it's record day and we're on our way home. Thought I'd stop at my favorite store out and around over here at Josie's. Get my little record player. I just feel naked without it. They're probably saying there's that damn Mac again. I did get both of those 78s, the little Walter Duke, and then the uh, uh, Lightning Hopkins on Gold Star. Lightning's got a lot of play wear, but I'm confident it'll play really good, especially on my old Caliphone. And uh, then the Juke, normally you find it Juke to where it's just worn out completely on that side. This one still had a lot of groove left, so I'm very happy. I've hardly ever found one in the wilds that was actually clean. So, good and they gave me a great price on both of them so i'm happy and i'm going home so we'll see y'all later just uh keep watching tell others oh yeah yeah before it's too late we'll catch you later